Hey guys, it's me Chris here, and today I'll be talking to you guys about rooting your smartphone or tablet. So without any further ado guys, let's go ahead and set straight in. So personally, rooting my smartphone or tablet is something I'm not currently interested in or don't need to do, but there are certainly many advantages um, of rooting your device, such as putting a new custom OS on there or firmware um, that you can't do when your device is not rooted. So there are also many other features, such as unlocking hidden features and installing incompatible apps. You can also boost the speed of your device as well as increasing the overall battery life as the OS can really take control of this. You can also block ads on your device um, as well as actually backing it up as well. So for instance, if you're going to a new device, it's a lot easier to take all of that information and just put it onto your new phone or tablet. Another advantage is removing those pre-installed apps which you can't actually remove um, with a standard OS on there which are very frustrating especially if you buy it from like a big retailer. Some of these retailers just put a load of like rubbish stuff on there that you're never going to use and just takes up overall space on your SD card or device storage. You can also customise other areas such as the keyboard on the device whether it be a tablet or smartphone and you can also flash a custom kernel or ROM on there to just customise the whole experience to your preference. So the biggest issue is if basically something goes wrong or if a file corrupts or something like that because your manufacturer or the manufacturer of the device is probably not going to cuff up and your warranty is just basically going to be pointless. So there's also risks in the security side of things. I'm not completely sure on this, um, but I think if you don't do it correctly or if you install something in a certain way um, or if you download like an app that may have some harmful like software on there, it can kind of like interrupt all the other processes on the phone. So yeah, you might want to look out for that before you go ahead and like hit a custom ROM in there or install a certain application. And then the final problem I've seen is with software updates, which is where people have basically went ahead and tried to update their smartphone or tablet and it's just basically not doing that. So yeah, guys, there were the risks and positives of rooting your device. Make sure you go ahead and drop a comment below on your thoughts on rooting your device, whether it be a tablet, smartphone, whatever it is. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And like I said, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. Once again, a big thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.